Hi everyone. Do you recognize this song? It's Blondie. I have to let it play for a little bit because um, it's fun. And I'm all about fun, except today. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and personal success strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience and build it into a profit generating business, which is based on your purpose. In fact, I just did that with a client. So today, it's uh, whenever you're watching this right now, today, it's actually September 1st. So uh, it's September 1st, 2016, and there are four months left of the year. And so that means that eight months have gone by already. Are you where you want to be in your business? I think that this is something that is just uh, good to every so often, you know, maybe it's every week. Um, I like to do it every week and look back uh, and see how I can improve and then base my goals on an end goal. Now, uh, this is not very important because life goes by very quickly. And if you aren't getting the results that you want in your business, there is no better time to face that than the present so that you can understand what's actually really going on. So I may get kind of excited. I don't know. I just got off um, a call with a client. So this is not for you if you're extra sensitive and if you're not willing to face what the truth really is. Because sometimes the truth is not so pretty. So if you're not where you want to be in your business or you're having more bad days than good, I'm just going to share some reasons why that may be and then what you can actually do about it so that you can have the best four months ever in your, in your business and in your life. Because if you aren't having fun in your business, that means that you're not having fun in your life. Um, unless you work like an hour a day and then, you know, I, I don't know how far you're actually getting in your business. So these, and this is not definitely all the reasons, but here are some of the reasons why you may be having a hard time um, getting results. So first of all, you're making excuses. What is an excuse for why you're not getting res results? So an excuse is like, I don't have time. I have this other thing. I, my kids are screaming. Um, I, you know, um, I, I'm, uh, I, have, I have a job. I'm, uh, you know... I'm working on this other project. Um, I'm already working so hard. Those are, those are all, I have a health condition. I used that excuse for a long time. So, you know, I want you to recognize uh, what your priorities are. And so this is to say, so if your business is a priority, then you need to actually make it a priority. And that means that things that you think are, um, are excuses or things that, that could be excuses, like any of the things I mentioned, are actually excuses. Because is it true that if you really wanted something, you go out and get it? I believe that if you look at anything in your life, if you really wanted to achieve something, you would go and do it. So, you know, this is about... What is the priority of your business? Now, I don't have time. It's something I often hear. Then I want to ask you, is your business uh, positioned correctly? Do you understand what your priority, what your why is in your business? And are you doing the right things then? So if you don't have time, so this is something that I just want to wake people up about. If you don't have time doing what you think needs to be done in your business, maybe what you think needs to be done and how your business is, uh, is based needs to actually shift and pivot a little bit. If you have another responsibility and, you're, and every day you're like struggling, I can't do the things that they say I need to put a successful business together. You know, I can't uh, schedule, I don't have time to like schedule all my posts and automate them. 
I don't have I don't have time to be on Facebook and hang out in groups. I don't have time to do Do you really need to do those things to make your business successful? Are you doing the right thing in your business? Uh, are you selling the right thing? Because to me, a successful business is one that is based on the amount of time that you're able to spend on it doing the things that your life would allow you to do. And so this may come to a shock to you, but how business and how you, how you build it to be successful is, uh, is, was, is, is, a, is, a, is one way to build a successful business online. It's one way that many people have adopted, but it's only one way. So if you think that in order to have a successful business, you have to automate all your, uh, all your social media, that you have to you know, have this uh, email funnel, that you have to um, always do video, that you always have to... If you think that's the only way that your business is going to be successful and your business is designed that way, then that's a problem because then your business is not positioned correctly. The foundation is broken because you're a well-positioned business is based on your highest value and on your life because you can't have a successful business if you don't have a successful life. So if you're constantly stressed trying to work in your business and you can't find the time to do it, then you need to pivot in your business and find a different system because many exist for how you do your business. This is very difficult for people to understand because it's just been taught, you know, you have to automate everything. You have to do this. You have to have a funnel and everybody, but I want you to understand that everybody's teaching and speaking about their own priorities. So they're speaking about it because that's what they sell or that's how they built their success. But you don't go home and put your head on their pillow at night. So your business needs to be based on and designed around your life. So, you know, first you have you as a person, your personality, the things that you have accomplished in your life, um, how, you know, your weaknesses, you have to understand your weaknesses. You know, are you really shy and you're trying to do video? Um, you know, you have to understand all of those things. Then you need to understand, you know, what time do you actually really have? Do you have a family, a job, and all those things? Then, you know, what are your interests? What would you fight for and get over yourself for? When on the days that you don't want to work, you don't want to go the extra mile, but what is, are you so passionate about that you would get over yourself and do and fight to do? All those things make a well-positioned business because that's a business that you're going to be so passionate about. And again, like I said, if you're not having fun every day, then something has gone wrong. A business should not be tedious, torturous, or leave you at the end of the day feeling lack of self-confidence. Okay, so if your system isn't working, understand that what everyone else is teaching right now is just one way to have a successful business. Another excuse is that you go and you hire coaches who you think have made a lot of money and you think, there's my solution. Now I can make a lot of money. And then you don't. And then you're like, what the hell? You're not them. Uh, no one has guarantees. And if you're not doing the work, you're not going to get results. It doesn't matter who you hire. If you don't do the work and understand that there are no guarantees, that it's up to you once you learn something, I don't care who it is that you learn from, once you learn something, that you do what you were taught. And if you don't, you understand that that's your choice and that then you're going to get the results that, you know, whatever results you get or lack thereof. And when you go and you look for somebody who has earned a lot of money, who has like a ton of followers, you know, I know this is going to work, you know, and you don't get results, you're not them. 
you know, how you should be making decisions on who you hire should be based on, I believe, you know, this is where real decisions are made in your emotional brain. You should have a gut reaction. This person gets me or they don't. It's not based on their results because you're not them. Okay, so, so you know, you're not them, number one. And number two, if you're not going to do what they teach you, you may not be getting the results that they get, that, they, that they're teaching you. So I've had clients who, with me, two months, they made $20,000. This is not a typical result. When they left me, I witnessed it. They fell into Facebook. They started following other people. They got lost. And then they started making nothing. It is your job to understand that once you get taught something, it's your job to do it and work at it. And that any sort of success is the, is the result of hard work. That means head down, genius out. Focus on your own side of the street. Always. Nobody has to go home with you. Nobody has to look at your bank account. Nobody has to, uh, at the end of the day, say, I did good. Or, wow, I just wasted an entire day on Facebook. You need to understand that your, you know, whatever you learn... I bet, I bet you've like read books and you've learned and you've learned. Are you learning the right thing? It just goes back down to your positioning, how your business is based. Do you understand what you need to learn? Because, you, you know, you, if you're not learning things that make you passionate and you're, you're just trying to learn like, you know, they told me I need to automate, I need to have this. If you don't, if, if you don't understand what it is that you do, then you should be learning about that first you speak to, your ideal clients, you know, if, if your business is positioned correctly, what you do doesn't change. You may be speaking to the wrong audience, but it's based on you. And so, you know, how I like to say it is you would do this if you weren't getting paid because it comes so naturally to you. So if you're fighting confidence, it's because you, your business is positioned correctly. Because if it was, it would be jumping off your tongue. And you'd be like knowing exactly what you need to learn and exactly what you need to do. Distraction. So I know I bash Facebook a lot, but it's where people get distracted the most. So, you know, this is how I just want you to think of this in like a great big picture. But at the end of your life, are you going to say, I wish I spent more time on Facebook? Because if your business is solely positioned to get, only get clients from Facebook, something's missing. And, you know, I don't know, but every day I wake up and say, how can I spend less time on Facebook? How can I spend more time helping people with real solutions? How can I um, go somewhere where I feel fulfilled and happy and people understand me? And at the end of my life, you know, I have this health condition. And at the end of my life, I, I, I face my truth every day. I don't want my life to be about being on Facebook. And because of that, I'm very focused. I get a lot done. And, uh, and I'm loving everything that I'm doing. You know, in the past uh, 30 days, or in, in 30 days, in a 30-day time period, I built, you know, a seven-day challenge, a, uh, um, a whole webinar, a program, funnels. Um, you know, I got clients, like, you know, double-digit clients. Like, I, I redid my website. <laughs> Because I know my priorities. So, you know, distraction is a horrible thing to, to fall into. But it, it's all up to you. Nobody sits there with you. Um, let's see. So, this is a good one. You're trying to scale and you haven't figured out a system to earning money. 
This is something that, you know, people are teaching you make passive income, do all these things, you know, and it sounds really dreamy. But if you haven't figured out your personal own system to make money, you really shouldn't be looking at growing yet because um, at the root of every successful business is somebody understands how to make money and how to have a functional business and then you grow and then you're able to scale quickly. This is why I teach people your magic number, not, you know, this like, I want to make a million dollars tomorrow. It's your magic number is your real number, you know, your expenses plus a slight cushion. And then you have a, a higher number that you want to be making like in, your, in, uh, in, a, in a good, in a perfect world a month. You know, it's not to say that you're not going to get that number. I did my first month, but I didn't stress myself out by thinking that that was the thing that I needed to get because then it's just going to cause you to do things that it's going to cause your brain, your subconscious brain to freak out. I can't make, you know, $50,000 a month. Oh my God, I'm making nothing. And you stress out when your magic number is really 5,000. You will work harder when your goal, this is, this is science, you will work harder when your goal, when your brain believes that your goal is achievable. If it doesn't actually believe that it's achievable, you will, you will literally be looking for distraction um, because it, it's, too, it's too much. So our thinking brains, our stupid thinking brains, it sucks energy. And so the fear brain is working to protect that stupid thinking brain. So anything that is fearful, so, you know, I can't make $50,000 a month. I'm only making, you know, $500. And what's, what will end up happening is your fear brain will protect you by saying, oh, I need to be on Facebook. I need to hang out here more. And, uh, and so, you know, create your magic number. You know, I, I did a teleclass last year called How to Get Your Next Client. Rather than thinking, I need to get 500 clients this month, and you freak yourself out. It's just not achievable. If you're, you, know, you don't even have one. Focus on one person, changing one life, getting one person to pull a wallet out of their pocket. Okay. Um, you don't want it. You, you think that you want it, but then why are you spending so much time, you know, trying to learn something that doesn't work for you or, you know, creating all these excuses. I don't have time. I don't have time. You know, I don't have time. And there you go, like hanging out in groups. Just understand that your success is up to you. And with this four months left in the year, you can rapidly change things. You can rapidly change things. I'm going to teach you some things right now. You know, I, I, don't want to, I don't want this to be a long broadcast, so I'm just going to say, you know, number one, create a business that is doable for you. Not in five years when, you know, it finally makes money. Create a business that is doable with you, the life that you have now, with the commitment level that you have that makes you happy and passionate every day. You know, work with somebody. I help people discover your genius in my Discover Your Genius program. Go to totalgenius.net um, and look at my work with me page. I have a Discover Your Genius. I help you build your signature program based on your purpose and then build it into a profit generating business with your marketing, your copy, your website, copy, all of that. Um, and, and, face, and Facebook ads. I have my program positioned to sell which I'm helping people find your E2 personal blueprint, which is really your genius. I'm, I am like just gifting that because I think it's so important to understand um, how that plays into your business. That's at position to sell .total genius net, or work with somebody else. But if you don't have a solid foundation and understand what it, the priorities of what you need to work on that are suitable to you and your schedule, you have a hard time achieving your success. You know how quickly you can do this? 
in a month, you could be making whatever, you know, your magic number is or even higher. Uh, okay, so let's see what else. Um, we, we work as humans in, uh, in the ultradian rhythm. That's just the way our bodies are designed. That's one and a half to two hour increments. So set a timer. Make sure that you have one to two sessions of this ultradian rhythm where it's you time. If you're a writer, you know, you spend that time writing. You're a designer, you spend that time designing. You spend it on your work. You close Facebook, close it. You turn your phone over so you can't even see like notifications and you work. You do that enough and you'll find you train your brain to focus. What a concept. Focus. Focus is not limited. It's just been dumbed down by modern society. You can build your focus. You know, our brains are malleable. I think that's the right word. We can form stronger connections and new connections. And so, you know, focus is, uh, has, has been dumbed down. You can build it back up by developing focus, by understanding that the natural, maybe it may not be yours right now, but that's the natural human bodily function to work in the ultradian rhythm. So, you know, for me, I very much get more done when I'm focused and I feel better at the end of the day when I'm focused. Uh, understand, write this word on your, uh, on your computer, momentum. The goal is to get through to momentum. You want to think of your, your success from here to the end of the year for the rest of your life as like, you know, you're running a race with yourself, not with the people online, not with the people that made this amount of money. You're running your own race. So, you know, I'm just going to teach you a couple more things. Start your day with active focus meditation. This is 20 minutes at least outside in some continuous movement, steady movement outside so that you're breathing heavy listening to your favorite playlist theme song that creates emotion and you focus on your success goals, not your to-do list, but your highest self, your success identity. If you need help with that, come to my group, the genius collective. Then you, once you do that, so this should be within an hour of waking up, you have total focus. What a concept on you, not on Facebook, not on the million people you don't know, your focus is on you, and, and because the endorphins are being produced by the movement and by your heavy breathing and with the music, you now are so confident because, and you've done something good for yourself. This is before you do anything else. Like, I'm talking, don't talk to your husband if, you, if it's possible. Don't talk to your kids. Get up early and go outside and do this. You know what that does? Science proves it causes new neural pathways in your brain around your success goals. And then, when you go on social media, do you know who you're focused on? You. And then you decide, I am the CEO of my company. I have a business, so I don't feel sleazy. I'm here to help. My, not everybody, I'm here to help the people that can hear me. I know who my BBF ideal clients are. And I, I am here to help them through stories, through, you know, whatever program I have. If I go into Facebook groups, I understand I'm going to spend half an hour and then I'm going to close, close Facebook. And then I'm going to work in the ultradian rhythm at least twice, you know, one and a half to two hours uh, segments. I recommend that you stand, hands up, stretch your spine, because sitting is worse than smoking. And remember, we're going for momentum. 
So you should be moving. I you know, started this with Blondie. You should be moving um, and you get excited while you work. You know, you should be doing something that makes you excited. And then, you know, every one and a half, two hours, you take your dog out. Or, you know, you go, my, my Facebook ad drives, he does jumping jacks at his desk. Move. Like, you know, remember, you have, a, you have a life, you have a body that needs to, like, be healthy. Uh, you have off time that you spend with your family. And then you go to bed at a healthy hour. You don't spend time on Facebook. You don't get lost on there. You go to bed at a healthy hour because you know and are excited about your own business and about your own success goals and you can't wait to get up the next day and do your active focus meditation because you know that at the end of your life, you're going to be like, I'm so glad I did that. I'm so confident in what I do. And... I went after my own goals. And you know what? Maybe I didn't reach all of them, but I spent every day doing what I love and loving who I am. And when you can understand that and share that with your BBFs and and your business is positioned correctly, you will make the money you want, get the clients you want. And God help me, be successful as a person. You are not only the CEO of your company, you are the CEO of you. And so every decision you make from what you eat to how you spend your life to the health that you decide to take for yourself to how you show up every day to yourself is a decision. You know, I said this yesterday. There's 7 billion people in the world, and only one of them is you. 95% of people were born with perfect genetics. Look, you're one of them. Even if you have an autoimmune disorder, which shows you can reverse your genetics. Take charge of your life. You are not a victim of your circumstance. Take charge of your success. And understand that whatever you're doing in your business, if it doesn't feed your life, make you feel better, make you feel smarter, and cause you to learn things that make you better, something has gone wrong. Your business should not tear you apart in your self-confidence. It should not make you feel bad. It should cause you to have to step up to your highest self every day. I can't tell you what I go through in the morning. You would have no idea about my health condition. You know what? Some days, I wish I were dead because I go through a lot. But I'm not. And so I choose to get to the point where I can have a life. And then, God help me, I'm going to live that life to the fullest. I'm going to share this information with you so that because I know you don't have that situation, but I can see the future. And I want you to have the future that you want. So take this to heart or don't, but be the CEO of you and your company. You know, that's what this is all about. So if you want to learn more about positioning, like in actual things that you actually need to do, tangible things, watch the free webinar at positioned.totalgenius.net. It's on my cover photo. Uh, Join the Genius Collective on Facebook where I can keep, help you keep accountable. I mean, you know, the other thing I'm really good at besides helping people discover your genius and with business and marketing is I'm very, um, I'm very routinistic <laughs> and, uh, and I'm very good at helping people stay on schedule. I'm all about accountability. I've been doing that, you know, I used to tell my sister, you know, you got to do this. Like I used to try to train her and she would be like, shut up. So... You know, we got to do this. If you need help, we need to talk. Because there is a, an amazing person inside of you that needs to be shared with your BBS because somebody needs your help. Your challenges that you've overcome are someone else's prayers. 
So please share this with somebody that needs help. You know, if you, if you want to schedule a chat with me because you're interested in working with me, you can do so on my website at totalgenius.net. Uh, my position to sell program is, it's just awesome. I can't tell you um, how much, uh, this, what a difference this can make in your business. It's at position to sell.totalgenius.net. And, uh, you know, take a look at my genius library. There's so much information there. And my YouTube channel, you can get a whole education there. I was going to call it fucking B school <laughs> because it's the truth. And there's a lot of information there that's just free. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, come join me at the Genius Collective. Or, you know, you could say, wow, that was <laughs> really, really, uh, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to say. Anyway, that's it. And I'll talk to you guys later.